What's up, YouTube? ODST General back again with some Deadwater Saloon. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to play this again on the channel, guys. We played a little bit of this uh, demo for this, the prologue for this, uh, a couple months back. And uh, I really enjoyed it. This game is kind of, uh, it's, it's pretty unique. It's got RPG aspects and that you've got skills and there's like skill checks and stuff with those skills. Um, but you've also got like the saloon management because that's the whole point is you're a saloon manager. So uh, we're going to go ahead and create our character and our saloon and everything. We're going to go with the uh, Dead Man's Glen and then I think we're going to just stick with the uh, the Aces High Saloon, the first random name generation we got. So a bunch of random stuff here. Now I've played a couple of games since uh, this came out and I've just really been struggling. The, the demo seemed a lot easier and I don't know why but I'm just really struggling with this um, so we've got a bunch of different traits that we can go with this character we can go with uh, calm uh, captivating which is uh, maybe the one we want to go with which is uh, leadership and drama compassionate which is theology and medicine uh, devious is mixology which is you know mixing drinks together and uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce litigious it's not lit it's like litigation but it's this. Uh, it's for suing people. Uh, analytical and daring. And let's go ahead and let's also change up our profile picture. Let's uh, let's go with I guess captivating. I feel like we did captivating one of the demos though. So I think we did playthrough two in the demo, and I can't remember. Hmm. Let's do daring. Let's do daring. Uh, so we're gonna do muscle. Muscle is always seems like it comes up fairly often, and then that gives us gambling. Gambling's pretty good money maker. Uh, what else do we want here? And let's go ahead. We're going to keep show player avatar off because we don't like the character just stands there. They don't really do anything anyways. Um, everything else will keep as normal. And we'll do a custom saloon from the ground up. So. Yeah, a uh, pretty pretty fun game, but like I said, definitely seems like it's more difficult than I remember. Which is funny because as far as I can tell, nothing's actually changed. It's not actually any more difficult. I've just been struggling. Now, let's see here. We need well, we need a building. So we're going to start off. We're going to need a room or rooms to store stuff and cook food. And, you know, potentially bedroom and stuff, so. Actually, should have kept that up so we could do. This. Um, okay, so we've got the rooms kind of set up here, very basic rooms. We're going to need some stuff. We're going to be storing stuff in these rooms, so let's get these uh, shelves here, these nice big backroom shelves, and let's put a safe in. And the safe will swing around here, put that right there, it's looking good. Uh, pretty basic so far but good Let's start researching that even though I'm supposed to be on pause uh, we're gonna need to do some cooking here and for cooking I 
bug that out. There we go. We'll put that right there. Put that there. We'll put that down. So we're already, we're blowing through money pretty quick here. So we'll probably need to slow down just a teeny bit here. But we we'll want uh, we we'll want some gambling and stuff. Now I don't know what the difference between the gambling table and the roulette wheel is. The roulette wheel seems like it's actually gotten me more like gambling and stuff. Um, kind of not sure where I want to put all this stuff. I think, well, the first thing we want really to, before we probably even do that, is we want a, uh, a bar and stuff. So we've got... this. Let's put that right there. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Uh, so what does the server do? Food and drinks to tables. I don't really know what the point of the server is because the uh, the barkeeps and the cooks will do the same thing. So we need a barkeep. We can get this person. They are like three seventy for their daily wage versus two seventy eight. Um. And we've got one cook there that's really terrible. We've got another cook here that's also almost equally terrible. This person doesn't have a daily wage. Now, their skills do increase over time, but it takes a while. So I think maybe we'll try out this uh, the one that's free. I don't know how that's going to work out for us. It probably won't work super great, but we'll give it a shot. Um... You know what I kind of want to do here is, hmm. You know what? Actually, we're we're gonna do this a little bit differently. I was gonna have the roulette wheel out in the uh, the open floor, but I really want to do a back like poker room. So let's go ahead. This is uh, it's increasing cost kind of unnecessarily, but I want to do this so. Uh, let's see here. Gambling table. Yeah, just enough room. So yeah, bas basically backroom poker game. And we'll need actually a another staff member, which I forgot to see if there was one, but uh, no, there's not. We're going to need a uh, coupier. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I'm not actually sure. I'm not much of a gambler myself, so I don't know the proper pronunciation, but basically somebody who can uh, manage our gambling table. Let's see here. Actually, no, that's we don't want these. We get refunded the full amount on those. We did perfect. Uh, want stools. And we're going to put a bed in here, 
because uh, our character is almost certainly going to be stressed out and the bed will help with uh, relieving daily stress. Oh, this uh, reduces staff wages by 30%. I didn't know that. It's 10 supply costs. Um, 750. How much money do we have left? We, we still got a decent amount. I, like, I'd try to stay a little bit higher than I've been going, but we'll put that there. And then put down a couple of tables over here. And we're going to need some lighting because it is dark as heck. All right. Um, so you probably don't want the, uh, the light on the poker table itself. All right, so here's our uh, two staff members, our barkeep and our cook. We need the other staff, though. We're going to need to purchase some alcohol and some food, so let's go ahead and do that now. So... With this, uh, the full game, one thing, you're gonna need a break soon, you literally just got in. I get you're working for free, <laughs> but I did pay for you to move out to the town. The funny thing is, is that your staff actually don't work, or, like, they don't have houses. Like, everybody else that moves to the town has houses, I don't know why the staff don't. It's a pretty small house the uh, Trapper built this time, normally they build a bigger house. They've got a cow, just one random cow sitting back there. Let's go ahead and bring this up. So once this goes back up to four, we should be able to uh, see if we can hire a coupier. I, it might be a little bit because it's randomized when you can hire people. That's kind of the downside to uh, to the game. So maybe. I should have held off on getting the gambling table, but we'll see. Actually, let's see here. What does the entertainment do? Plus 25 entertainment. Put a couple dartboards in. Actually, does it stack? It might not even stack. It doesn't say it doesn't stack. I think it's interesting. The cow skull adds refinement. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I didn't think these did, but they do. They do. Uh, that looks really stupid. One of these is going to have to move. All right. Got a, uh, a customer. She's going to come out and, I guess, get the guy's order here and get him some uh, food, potentially. And Blacksmith just moved in. And we got another customer asking for some rot get. He's, he's having some celery and some uh, some booze. And we're going to go ahead and buy that right away. That should also mean we have uh, the chance, because I just looked to look at staff. Uh, fortunately, no one for our entertainment aspects here. And that's fine though. Um, let's go ahead, research that character. Gonna assign our character. 
The cult. The Doris Reed, she is looking to be an issue. Oh yeah, she really does not like us. In fact, her her husband doesn't care for us, nor so like her whole family hates us. So that's going to be problematic. So we're going to have to try and befriend these people if we can. Um, yeah, that wasn't going to work out too well. Um, I think because uh, the issue is, is if she dislikes us too much, the opinions can go like way down. The opinion of our character is really low, actually. Um, let's. Ooh, 52%. We'll take the free option. Oh, of course it failed. It's 50-50. Unfortunately, at this point, it is really difficult to actually get approval. Um, so we'll wait. We'll, we'll probably just end up paying her off the $50. It's a lot of money for somebody who already like dislikes us, and they're not going to really like us a whole lot more. Mountaineer dressed in deer hide stops and saying he's here because nobody knows of it just the way I like it. Yeah. I just I said that because uh, we were going to fail anything else, but yeah. Okay, so they continue to eat. So Lewis just came in. Let's take a look at the staff uh, options again here, see if we go. Oh, perfect. There's uh, two jobs we need, actually. Um, And we'll get both of them here. Uh, money is quickly becoming an issue now, though. Uh, let's go up to our second floor. And let's go to our structure And we're going to put this upstairs. And actually, we're not going to spend anything else. So they'll, they'll be upstairs here, uh, kind of out of the way. So hopefully, you know, we can uh, we can start making some money off of that. We'll just put a small room there. Because uh, I did go a little bit crazier with the, uh, with the money on the downstairs than I should have. Like this room here for my character... I maybe should have ignored the the decreased stress is pretty big thing though. Thirty seven dollars to play horseshoes. Is this the? Oh yeah, purchase doors read. Person does not like us. Um. Oh god, this is like half her money, but let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, if somebody doesn't like you, that increases their cost a lot more. This mad they're Maudy Watson, they don't like us. Everybody hates us for some reason, and I really don't know why. We haven't really... Uh, I mean, we've had a couple of failed checks, which have not helped, but even before then, they didn't like us. Alright, that's definitely something we need to do. All right, we're we're getting super low on money though. That's definitely an issue. Now we've got our coupier though, so we do have gambling and stuff.
Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we will fail that, and she's likely going to get uh, angry, so we're just going to skip that. Because uh, that's already really angry. I think stress is already pretty high. Yeah, money is definitely an issue here. Um, you know what we could probably do? I don't know if we'll get the full money back from it, but let's... Uh... Yeah, not quite full money, but we don't we don't need that. And we can probably get rid of this one. We we really aren't producing that much stuff and needing to store that much stuff that uh, it's really worthwhile to have all that storage. Uh, a rancid heat wave is causing a grand disturbance to the local towns. People, so everybody's kind of suffering. Um, probably is going to backfire, but we've skipped everything else. Let's go ahead and try this. Yeah, it's our way to us even more. So, uh, a town's opinion is up to a positive three, though. That's something, I guess. Bad break, bad break. Who are you talking to? There's no one even playing. That was weird. Oh, the pig opened the door. I just didn't see him. All right, some folks eating together. Getting some booze, getting some of the fire water. Our uh, barkeep has leveled up. We really need our uh, person here to level up ours to next level 115. Ugh. It's fine though, maybe. Willow Watson is approaching up the road. Well, this is our best chance. It's not very likely to succeed, but we'll give it a shot. This is the trapper, unfortunately. This is somebody we need to like us because we have to buy supplies from him. Uh, you nod and they answer with a nod back. I mean, ideally you want everybody in the town to like you because, like, at least as far as I've seen, every shop has stuff in it you need. Uh, the blacksmith, you know, you get your colts, you get uh, stress reduction, you've got uh, permanent action bonus point, which is pretty expensive, but that would probably be really big for gameplay. Uh, cheaper construction costs, here you've got uh, stress reduction, you've got uh, corpse disposal as an option. So if you kill somebody in the game, you can hide the body there so the town doesn't get angry at you, potentially. Okay, there we go. So, I, yeah, one thing I was a little concerned about was how tight that table was, and they're taking up basically all the spaces if they'd actually be able to get through the door or not. Thankfully, it seems they can. Uh, thirty-three percent chance, one in three for a traveling band. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. You fail. You piss them off slightly and being insistent about pay, but they eventually agree. Um, but split and shake on it. Tunes. Okay, so I mean, we still made money. We got twenty-five, and we got a uh, fame of plus five. So I'll take it. That's uh, even a fail. That's a good one. So uh, if we had succeeded, we would have made a lot more money. I think we would have gotten like fifty, and we had, had you know had we succeeded, which would have been really nice. But twenty-five is not bad. Twenty-five is not bad. A lot of food on the tables here for not a lot of people eating. Uh, so we've got gambling here. Uh, one of the gamblers is cheating. On top of that, they're betting an entire buckskin pouch full of gold. If they win, they could clean out the other players and even the entire saloon. Uh, well, that wouldn't be good. Well, obviously, we're going to take the 48% instead of the 13%. Success! Uh, you 
hang back while the uh, Baze Davis continues dealing. As you watch, you catch sight of a bag of superstitiously, super I guess. Superstitiously, yeah. Uh, fastened to the underside of the table where the gambler is drawing cards. You step forward and tell that thimble ringer. A thimble rigger? Oh, okay, that's an interesting one. I've never heard thimble rigger before. That if they don't get out pronto, they're bound to be tarred and feathered, shot or hung. Uh, the guy is grateful. I knew it. Thanks for validating that. So I'm pretty sure that was our, this guy here. Yep. Yeah, that was our staff member who caught him. Uh, he basically is the one who caught him cheating. I mean, we, we saw him cheating, but it was him who was like, hey, I'm pretty sure this guy's cheating. You got a customer here coming over. It's one of the reeds. So let's look at the the citizenship here. So Swifty is the one who dislikes us the most now. So Swifty is the one we need to befriend if we can. Yeah, we're going to pay him. I mean, that's basically what this is going to come down to. Again, if the people dislike you too much, they'll become your nemesis. You'll get increased stress every day. The town's opinion of you will drop every day because they will walk around the town talking crap on you. Um, so really, you want to ensure that you are trying to keep everybody in the town happy or you are dealing with them somehow. So you don't necessarily need to go out and pay them or try to befriend them. You could just literally go out and kill the person. Um, but that's going to, you know, if you have a sheriff that's going to put the law on you, and if you don't have a sheriff in town yet, the town's still going to potentially really dislike you. Um, so definitely worthwhile for me right now, especially where I'm not really playing a criminal, you know, I don't really have a good setup for going out and, and shooting people down and stuff like that. Um, you know, at least we could, we could probably get away with like a fair duel because I think we, you know, we've got that muscle and stuff, but. Um, actually trying to like murder somebody and then cover it up or like blackmail some, it's just not going to work super well. So uh, okay. Smoke rises from the house belonging to Doris Reed. Oh, darn. <laughs> Part of me is really tempted to let it burn to the ground, but they'll still be around. So let's grab shovels and toss dirt into the house in the hopes of smothering the fire. Uh, we failed, and now they like us less, and the whole town likes me less, which is really obnoxious, but okay. That's fine. They would have uh, they would have hated me more if I had tried to, like, just not do anything. In that case, I'm pretty sure. We're going to need to buy some alcohol here soon. Oof. Oh, wow, that actually succeeded. Oh, yeah, see, look at that. That one success roll, I mean, they, they still have a negative 26 for us, and that brought it down from, what was it, 49 to $32. Uh, we do need this here. We're going to need it soon, so we're going to go ahead and buy that now. It's still really expensive for what it is, but uh, it's going to bring us in a fair bit of money. I'm pretty sure that's going to bring us in a lot more than 36, so. Or 32. Uh, openly express their appreciation of you, so that's perfect. So, Springfield Reed seems to be uh, kind of our new friend here. Drifter roams in your saloon. Face the lean. They look starved down. Ask, say, barkeep. I don't have a dollar in my name, but I sure could use a warm meal. Tell them if you don't wash dishes, you don't eat. Uh, they do. You become famous. They agree and eat the uh, meal ravenously and wash your dishes with the same level of zeal. It results in the dishes being caught and making service faster. Perfect. Okay. Get some... Uh, Baker moving in. Got a couple people gambling in the back. We've got uh, 
few people at our tables here. We got some folks sitting at the bar. It's, uh, it's going pretty good right now. So we got the gang in the area. That could be an issue. Uh, I'll go with that. The baker just moved into town. So the baker we can get stuff from here. We can buy dessert or grain. But holy cow, that is so expensive. What, the baker really hates us too. He just moved into town. He doesn't even know us. Why do you hate us so much, Baker? Um, okay, let's let's see where the strongest dislike is here. That's weird. It's like going back up. It won't let me scroll down. Uh, it seems to be the Baker, though, Wolf Watson. So let's go ahead. Try to uh, befriend him. Uh, make it clear that you're drawn to them, which isn't really the case. I don't want to pay $50, and that's a slightly higher chance of succeeding than the, uh, the 20%, so we'll go ahead and do that. And apparently he's into that, so hey, uh, I guess I'll take it. What does that bring our prices down to you? Whew. That's a big difference there. It's still a lot more expensive than wanting to pay for those, um, but I would love to have the option for desserts. Desserts are pretty good pricing like they'll go for like above a dollar for each dessert so um i really like getting the desserts for the cook and stuff and people seem to enjoy it so it's pretty good money uh customers eating complain about the grub better to wash it down with coffee to remove the taste uh let them sit there and belly ache all they want well the other chances aren't very good so let's go ahead and do that No, no negative effects. They complain a lot. No increased stress or anything, though. Just, just the guy complaining, which is fine. Uh, a love-struck young couple decide they want to use your saloon for their wedding. You have a lovely decor, and we want, and we'd love to do it here if you'll have us. Uh, agree, but for a fee. Uh, that is our best chance. So let's go ahead and do that. Our stress. Uh, get minus three stress. Plus fifty dollars and plus two fame, and that's not a fail. So I'm really wondering what the success would have looked like on that one. I'm guessing it. it I know on the other one where we got twenty five dollars, I had fifty dollars on a similar pop up. So I'm wondering if we would have gotten a hundred dollars on the wedding there if we'd succeeded. Don't know if that's the case, but it's uh, kind of a shame we failed. But again, if you're gonna fail on something, I guess that's a good you know good thing to fail on. Uh, Doris Reed. Challenge them to a friendly game of poker. 59% chance of success. Let's go ahead and do it. Doris likes us a bit more here. Yeah, I don't... I really don't know why the town dislikes us so much. So, Horrifying Twister. Touches down several miles out of town. Tears apart the countryside. Uh, that is going to tear up the road. So let's go ahead. We're going to need to get the road repaired pretty quickly. Uh, implored the townspeople that the prosperity of town depends on repairing the road. 37% chance at success isn't the best. Um, I'm really tempted to pay the $50 now, but 37% isn't the worst I've seen either. It's one in three chance. I think we'll take the risk this once, unless we get like a 50% or something next time, we'll probably just pay for it next time. So tomorrow, when we get another opportunity to, to take a crack at the road, we'll do it then. Uh, let's go ahead and research the wild turkey. And then after that, we'll probably do the uh, the roast duck, I'm guessing. I don't really know what the difference is between researching the other trees, other than, I guess, it's more options, maybe? More more people are more likely to order this stuff? I don't know. So if we go to, to the town, we've got reduced travelers and no incoming supplies, so that's definitely an issue that needs to be resolved as much as possible. Uh, neither of these are likely to succeed, but we'll do the, uh, abstraction here. So we do still get travelers. I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of people coming out on horses and stuff. There's still people coming into the saloon, so we're still making money. 
Uh, but it's not as many as it should be, or at least that's what it's saying, but... Seems to be pretty decent at the moment. Yeah, that's only like a 1% chance better, and that's because we failed to increase our finances. We're just going to pay the $50, clear the road, so we can get supplies and stuff coming back in. Because, yeah, if we run out of, like, food or alcohol, then we can't buy anymore, and it's not great. Butcher is moving into town. Butcher is good. Does Butcher dislike us, dude? Butcher actually slightly positive opinion of us. That's surprising. Uh, so let's talk to Wolf. Let's try to get Wolf to like us a little bit more. Chum with them about growing markets out east. is 43% chance. That's the best thing. Unfortunately failed. Uh, Springfield Reed. The pig, the pig farmer likes us, though. Sixty-three percent chance in gambling. So let's, yeah, let's do some more gambling with uh, Doris. Yeah, it's Doris. That's the kind of question here. Um, we've got two hundred dollars to work with now. Let's let's look at hiring a bouncer here. So yeah, we've got Gilda Hall. Kind of pricey though. Kind of pricey. But I think. Uh, I think it's gonna be time. We're gonna we're gonna want a bouncer here before too long, so we'll go ahead and get uh, her in here. Up oh, there it is. Okay, you got the rose stack. Opium Den just came in. So the Opium Den, uh, you know, not, it's kind of a mixed place because it can have a lot of negative effects, but it's, it allows you to get like loans and stuff like that. And uh, you can get a knife to increase your, like your bouncer status, basically. I forgot we have our uh, our brothel upstairs. I wonder. I don't think I've seen anybody actually walk up the stairs to go use it. I'm questioning that. Yeah, I'm I'm really wondering about that now. So I I really don't recall seeing anybody going up the stairs ever. I I'll be honest, I actually forgot about it being up there. So if we're not making money off of that, we should get rid of that and can the employee. So we'll uh, we'll watch it for a, a few days, I guess, and see what happens with it. Uh, let's see here. Negative six. Negative six, negative 21. Okay, uh, it's a fail, but we got plus one gambling, I guess. So there's that. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Yeah, they are going up there. Uh, you see Swifty Reed enter, ready to brush off the day with your offerings. They say to you, I'm having a difficult time deciding what to have. Why don't you suggest your finest? Unfortunately, we suck at both uh, mixology and cooking, which are the two things we can do. Uh, so we can tell him this. He might dislike it, but uh, thankfully he didn't. So General store. So yeah, the general store is usually supposed to be a pretty good one, too, I think. I... 
I haven't had that on too many playthroughs, but you can get Derringer, you can get whiskey, coffee. Uh, all of it's pretty expensive. Let's see if we can get uh, Mr. Skeeter here to like us a little bit more. We can pay him. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring those costs down. Ooh, the opium down really doesn't like us. Uh, so we can get a Derringer. Let's go ahead and get a Derringer because that's dirt cheap and we'll get that for our bouncer. Uh, and let's get whiskey, I guess. And we'll research the whiskey here as soon as we can. Actually, we need to go through staff to do this, I think. So equip. Okay, the, yeah, it just, signed, just didn't look like it was, because it was letting me assign both the guns. I guess you can just pull it out of my character's hand to give it to her, if you're not paying attention. Uh, customer shares with you, you're on the cusp of having a truly great outfit here, just need to bring in some more variety of drinks. Well, it's, it so happens we're preparing to do that. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's perfectly fine. I mean, we're, we're looking to bring in some whiskey and stuff right now, so that is perfect. And in fact, we can now research it. So we go over to booze, we go down to our uh, other tab. We can now research the red eye whiskey, which is uh, pretty cheap. It's only 14 cents per bottle, but it does open up some variety. It's a little bit more than the, uh, the rock gut. Uh, and you know, the potential for it's higher. You've got the George Washington Ryan stuff, which gets up to 70 cents. So once we get done with the, the whiskey line, there's potentially a lot more money off of it. And it's just more stuff for people to order and potentially more people are going to come in for whiskey and stuff. But yeah, you can see back here they're gambling. 163 off of like each hand. So, I mean, gambling's pretty good money. All right, that's done. Uh, you'll probably go with the the Irish whiskey next and go down that tree. Oh, our our pig loves us. And can I scroll down now? No. Somebody in the town really dislikes us. I'm pretty sure I just saw a negative seventy or something. Uh, a band of men, dark and imposing, ride in like marauding parade. Their leader, a man with a deep scar and an eye patch, enters. Uh, he's flanked by three others. Good day, name's Chop. Can't tell you what a pleasure it is to see a town like this as you serve them. You see at the outs or you see outside other band members looking and holding townspeople at gunpoint while Chop finishes his drink. His men begin collecting items and booze from behind your bar. Thank you kindly. We'll be back, says Chop with a smirk. There is a pall of doom over the town as they ride off in a blanket of dust. You overhear one of the townspeople say, if they come back, we might as well cut our own throats. Uh, so we got minus 20 on the whiskey, which sucks because the whiskey was expensive. So we're going to have to deal with them somehow. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Looks like that's done through the town and the clear road here. Danger on the Horizon Outlaw Gang will be to your town in 164 hours and as many bouncers as possible with guns. So we'll consider making many allies on times you can be raising their opinion of you. This will help during the encounter. Well, okay then. So let's uh, let's see here. Staff, we're going to need more bouncers, it's telling us. Uh, let's see. We're going to probably want more skilled bouncers too. 324. Where's that general store? Oh, uh, we went through all of our uh, 
our options already. We can't do that. All right, so we got three bouncers, this uh, this trio of women, and they're all rocking derringers. I'm out of rocket. Oh, I am out of rocket. That's not good. I didn't even realize I ran out of the regular uh, regular booze. Well, that's good. That helps with our stress and stuff. So. That kind of sucks that all those people left because we were out of rocket. I didn't didn't notice. Booze, whiskey. Oh wait, we wanted to go the Irish whiskey. It's fine. We got one. She's just bit busy. You having fun there? You're not supposed to stand there. So I could buy a dog, which will further decrease our stress, but we're doing okay on stress right now. It's uh, it's more so the fact of being in imminent danger that I'm kind of worried about. All right, we're going to pay Wolf to, to like us because, again, we're in kind of a bad spot here. Uh, Jupiter Abrams, he didn't, he didn't dislike us. I didn't see, he might not like us at all. He might just be kind of indifferent. Uh, we can challenge him to a game of poker. We got a pretty good chance of succeeding that. So let's go ahead and do that. Speeder seems to like us well enough. How about you? Can we get you to like us? Uh, help with labor intensive chore. That's muscle. Pretty good chance of succeeding, but it didn't. Um, and we can't do anything again for 11 hours. Uh, several townspeople ask, approach, and advice on which build struck next. Water tower, graveyard, tailor, or church? Let's say a water tower. We're out in the middle of the desert. So, let's see what... That's now the tallest structure in town. It's also known as a water tower. You know that it only takes upwards to 10 days to die. If there are some folks even last weeks, I think you're in stir water stores now, but the tower is here. So, interesting. So the water tower has a, a manager, I guess that makes sense, which we can get plus two action points to use for $32. That is a good deal. Uh, jump off the tower. So... I guess we can kill our character off, presumably, because why the hell not? It just it it doesn't say that's what it is, but that's kind of what's implied. But yeah, we'll get the extra two action points. That's fantastic. I'll definitely take that. Uh, let's befriend. We'll try to do the uh, finances. Pretty good chance of succeeding, but it failed. But you, Doris, let's talk to you. 72% chance on gambling. Let's go ahead and take that. Yes, there we go. Doris now actually likes us a little bit. Perfect. Slowly winning the town over a little bit at a time. It's taking a while, but we're getting there. Three hours. But we do need as many folks, as it said, to like us as possible because obviously we've got a a band of uh folks coming in here mustache macy a notorious and ridiculously famous gambler rides into the town shouting who has the gall to take me up up in a high stakes poker game it's a hundred dollar buy-in so be sure you're of the first water or stay the hell away from it we'll take it and succeed get fame uh, we can go again. Let's go ahead. You agree to hold the game in your saloon, setting your money on the table for all to see. Several others join in. The pot is over $500. You licks her lip as she deals the first hand, and you take a look at what you got and see in that, by all accounts, you have a shit hand. Love and raise. Uh, let's see here. Put up the ante. So you got $500. Perfect. Perfect. 
Yeah, it's really kind of obnoxious with this game coming in, and I cannot scroll down, though. It's kind of killing me a little bit. How about you? If I slow this down, though, maybe I can get the people as they're walking through town and kind of take a look at uh, where everybody's at and try to get these people to like me this way. I desperately want to be liked. I don't want to be killed by the gang when they come back. Uh, okay, let's see here. Wolf Watson, he's he's coming around slowly but surely. 39% chance isn't great. Uh, you know, we've, got, we've honestly, we've got a fair bit of money here. We could maybe even buy a business. 296, we could buy the blacksmith. And the pig farm. And the baker. <laughs> Oh, wow, we can buy a lot of these businesses. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm looking somewhere else. I'm looking up here at the, the cost, not the actual cost of the business. I mean, stupid. I'm looking at their, their lifetime stuff here. Yeah, no, these are a lot more expensive. Okay, that's... That's... never mind. Okay. Well, I mean, we're still doing okay on money, though, at least. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, for as much as these people dislike me, this stuff's, like, super cheap. No, that makes more sense. I'll do that. 40%. Take it. It's friendly. Neutral, but that is Miss Watson, so she is not going to give us any mind right now. No, we burned through all of our points, too. No, we have more action points. Yeah, 104 hours until the gang comes back. Get your wounds and diseases treated by the new doctor who pulled into town. Don't be shy now, though. We understand if you are hell, some pioneers declare the doctors are do the devil's work. It's no wonder when certain doctors promote treatments such as drinking sulfur, performing surgery without anesthesia, or bleeding patients from the jugular. Yeah, that would all be pretty bad. So this is my first time actually seeing the doctor. I haven't played a game where the doctor shows up. But they'll treat wounds and diseases. But we don't need any of these yet, so I guess we'll just hang out with the doctor here. Actually, hang on. How much, uh, how much to purchase your business? We could purchase the doctor for $370. That is pretty cheap. Let's go ahead and do it. New recipe can be researched. Let's get the hot toddy, I guess. What is the uh, the town looking like here as far as stuff from this? There's no negative effects, thankfully, from the game. I was kind of gang. I was kind of curious about that. So yeah, with the doctor, we uh, we are now the business owner, so I don't think we have to necessarily do anything. I think, yeah, we get, I don't know, I guess we get like the bare minimum price for like treating diseases and stuff like that, presumably as the business owner, and then, um, you know, just basically whatever the cost of supplies is. And then we should get money off the business too, I think. It's, I don't think it's as good as our saloon, but it still should be pretty decent. Patrice Morgan has leveled up again. How about you? Where are you at? 118. Yeah, the town's grown pretty big here, actually. I think this uh, this is probably the biggest town I've seen here. The main road has been obstructed several miles out of town by a band of thieves robbing lone riders and wagon trains at gunpoint. By the rumors, they're not resorting to violence and seem relatively novice. Well, be that as it may, we do need to clear the road of them, so let's see what we've got. Firepower, 9 versus 4. So, attempt to frighten them off by feigning a meltdown. Uh, yeah, threaten to bring the full force of the law down, which we don't have any law. They could pay him to leave, but let's go ahead. It's 9 versus 4 on firepower. That gives us the advantage. And uh, we've got our three bouncers. 
Success. Get lost. Okay, perfect. Gambling table is doing good. That the backroom poker is actually pretty popular. I still don't think it's as popular as the roulette table. I probably should put the roulette table in instead, but uh, people seem to like the backroom poker. It seems to be working, so we'll uh, we'll stick with that. We get an old-fashioned turkey too. Let's go with some uh, with some food here. We are actually. I just realized this. We're out. Oh no, we still got whiskey. I was looking down like over here, but the whiskey's right there. We're still good on that. Get a little bit low on uh, the regular game, though. Well, you're probably going to get to hurt somebody before too long here, I suspect. Um, not sure how much longer we're really going to have to wait for that, but we'll see. Ah. Uh. Four seventy-eight. I yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to buy any other businesses for four seventy-eight here. But oh, Let's see, I just try to make friends with everybody. That's what the game suggested, so that's what we're doing here. We're we're trying to get as many people. To like us as much as possible so that when the game comes back we can uh, try to run them out of town here. We're going to go ahead and pay her because both those success chances are pretty bad and... Uh, again, this is probably the person I really more than likely want me to like me the most. I mean, we can get by without having like the regular game and stuff, but that is kind of the, the base of our establishment. I think that's probably some of the most heavily requested items is having that stuff in here. So, Neither of these is great. Well, we're going to try to go with the 28%. Increased stress a bit, but that's fine. Yeah, buck sixty-eight to do ten stress reduction. We'll do that. It's good money. Well worth it. How much time do we have left? Forty-six hours. I'm actually debating here. So what we probably need to do is buy Colts. Uh, bar fight breaks out and Pamela Smith is having a tough time bringing it under control. Run atop the bar and swan dive into the throng to help. Uh, climb atop the bar. Yeah. That's a shame. I, I feel like we should have succeeded there. No stock available, so we can't buy any more Colts. That is unfortunate. Yeah, I might... Uh, I'm not sure how much time passes each day here, but we might temporarily hire the third bouncer and buy that last uh, Derringer here, too, just to help out. I'm really thinking that's the uh, the game plan here. So, at 35 hours, I think what we'll, we'll do is we'll bring them in now here. Um... If we have any bouncers left, oof, oops, yikes, not very good. Uh, he's 13, but this guy's free. Oh, our daily action points are exhausted, so we're going to have to wait until those restock, and there will be a new group of people to hire from out of town anyways, so I guess we're going to wait and see what happens here. Um, of course, there's no bouncers on the refresh list. Okay, that's fine.
Ooh, 88% chance. Gambling's getting really high, actually. It's not bad. Oh, it's a single use for the plus two action points. I, did, I thought it was permanent. I didn't read that. I didn't read the one use. Um, for 30, though, that's not bad. We're going to definitely do that. Right, we've made $59 off the, uh, the doctor's office, which is uh, pretty decent. And four dollars for the dog. Let's get let's let's get the dog. I didn't see if that's got replaced it did not okay yeah we're, we're getting down there where it's down to 19 hours here for our uh staff let's go ahead oh that's actually it's a two do we have any more cults still no cults available i guess maybe we can only have literally just the one cult So it should be resetting here in just a moment or a few moments here. We've got yeah, fast forward a teeny bit here. Uh, let's try this again. Hopefully we've got a uh, bouncer. Nope, unfortunately not. It's six hours that these guys are coming back into the town. Can we equip anybody else in our staff with weapons? No, only the bouncers. All right. Well, I guess hopefully nine's going to be enough. I don't. I don't know what else we're going to be able to do here. Let's. Uh, we're going to start paying people here, just to to get things going as well as possible. Unless we got like this, where it's like ninety two percent chance of success. Uh, he already likes us. So we're not gonna. We're not gonna mess around with that. Yeah, the game seems to give you like one best friend in the town, like one person who really likes you, and they'll come in and talk you up and make you feel better and everything. All right, well, our action points are exhausted. We can buy a couple more action points, so maybe we'll do that. Nope. Not enough action points to buy the action points. So really, you're you're not buying two action points. It says plus two, but you're really only buying an extra action point for $30 for the day, which, I mean, is still potentially very useful depending on what you've got going on. Oh, my God, it's 10 versus 40. That is not what I was expecting. Holy cow. Okay. Um, rally your men and your allies to fire. Firepower is only 10, though. We're going to have to give them what they want. Like, there's no way we're going to win a 10 versus 40. Unless. You know what? We're at an hour here. We're actually a little over an hour. Let's go ahead and do it. Plus injury. After an intense firefight on the town outskirts, bandits overwhelm your efforts and force their way into the saloon. You are captured, beaten. Chop stands over you. Let this be a lesson to you. Uh, so he's taken $120 from us, taken crude liquor, taken the whiskey, uh, and we are injured. So we're going to need to deal with that. So we have severe wounds. So once we have the action points to deal with it, we'll... we'll Go ahead and buy that stuff back. Yeah, I don't know, like, what it takes for somebody to become our ally here. We got friendly. They're, they're fun. Like, a lot of the town's friendly with us now, but I guess maybe it needs to be, like, 100. So we had, like, one guy as our ally, which was Springfield. 
So maybe instead of like trying to like focus everybody down, we should have been trying to get like a whole bunch of different people to like us. Or what now a whole bunch of different people, just like a single person to like us. Yeah, we really need some action points here. We're gonna need to buy alcohol and we're gonna need to treat that wound. So, I didn't know what would happen if, like, with the 10 versus 40, obviously that was a big chance against us. Uh, I was growing restless, so our bouncer's getting a little restless. Looking to pick a fight. Let's try to calm him down here. That uh, seemed to have worked. We've got plus four. Let's go ahead and treat our very serious wound here. Let's purchase this, and let's purchase some food here. Burn through money here pretty quick. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be where we save it here. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. But that was uh, Dead War Saloon. There will more than likely at least be another episode or two. Uh, things seem to have gone pretty well. So thank you guys again for watching. Take it easy, and I'll see you all in the next one.